players can come from everywhere. Sometimes players exceed your expectations, and that's always a good thing. Hey, I'm just doing my job, man. As a scout, it just teaches you that, like, no matter what you do that day, no matter what school you're at or where you're viewing, you never know. Like, this could be one of the solutions that we're looking for to help make us better. And guess who? Grover Stewart, who's having the best year of his six year career. With Albany State, it's a rural area, but when you get on campus, it's very compact, real hot and humid area. But, you know, football's football, you know, and when you step between those four wide lines, that's what really matters. We had watched Grover in the meeting, big, giant guy, not much technique. Enormously long-armed. Strong as an ox. Very powerful hand action. Tough. And then, he, you know, the guy can run. You know, definitely had the talent level, but there was going to be a, a lot of work to be done as far as molding this big piece of clay. So I go to the pro day, and there was about 14 teams there. The workout was an outstanding workout from a movement standpoint. I mean, he kind of showed you everything you wanted to see from a movement. Big guy, ran well, benched 30 times, jumped like 28. Being a father at an early age and having to juggle those circumstances in college, to me, stood out as the ability to, like, this guy can adapt. I think the fourth round's that round where you start looking at either underachievers, you know, guys that maybe have the talent but haven't reached it, or developmental guys, because when you get to the fourth round and fifth round in particular, like, that's where the traits are gonna start happening, and guys with traits are sitting there, so like Grover had these traits. You knew he had the raw physical qualities, and what he showed at the NFLPA was the ability to apply coaching, the fundamentals and technique, and show improvement each day he was there, which was really, got us really excited. You do get more excited when you, you draft a small school guy. I think it is more of a risk because, you know, a lot more things like you're betting on the improvement and the player reaching his ceiling. You see the tape, the person, and then the testing, and you kind of put it all together, and, you know, it's borne itself out. Like, this guy's become a legitimate guy. Where he's at now is not where he started, and that's a testament to the player and the coaching that he's gotten since he's been here in Indianapolis. I just want to see somebody facing the turf. Hey, I feel like I just got started. <laughs>